Welcome to Arthritis Now. I'm your host, Kyle Langan, and today's interview will be with Dr. Martin Kriegel of Yale University, who's studying how gut bacteria may initiate autoimmune diseases. Sit back and relax, and let's jump right in. Hi, Dr. Kriegel. Thank you so much for being on Arthritis Now with us. We really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Sure. Can you kind of just start off by telling us a lay summary of what you're currently working on right now? Uh, so the overarching theme in my laboratory is to understand how these microbes that live in and on us are interacting with the immune system, which may um, play a role in autoimmune diseases like arthritis or lupus. So I know that you have been funded by ANRF twice. And um, how were your were the grants that you received? Um, how did your pro research projects differ um, each time you were funded? Yeah, so I was very grateful um, and felt lucky to be funded twice. One, the first funding was in 2005, um, and when I was a postdoctoral fellow in a laboratory here at Yale, in Richard Fovell's laboratory, where we were studying how um, certain immune cells, so-called lymphocytes, are uh, tuned down without being killed off because, and the problem in autoimmunity is that these immune cells attack your own body. So I was already back then very interested how to uh, sort of get them tolerant. And um, there are certain molecular mechanisms I was studying back then. And in the end, the whole story related actually to um, oral tolerance. Um, in other words, the food um, items that we get exposed to every day by eating they um, reach the gut and we need to be tolerant to those and there seems to be certain immunological mechanisms that allow um, the immune system to differentiate between invaders like infectious agents and uh, innocuous material like bacteria that live in us or um, food antigens. And uh, the molecule we were studying back then was important in telling um, the immune system to shut down. So that was the first uh, year of funding and then uh, after doing more clinical training up in Boston, um, I came back to Yale and was funded uh, the second time uh, for um, a, an early project in my own laboratory here at Yale. And that relates, as I mentioned earlier, to the idea that these microbes that live in and on us are um, really crucial to understand how autoimmunity arises. And yeah, you, so you, know, you have your own lab at Yale now. Um, and then I know one of, the, one of the specific targets that you're kind of focusing on is um, the organisms in our gastrointestinal tract. Can you provide a little bit more info about, about what you are finding um, in that area? Sure. So we, we also look actually also at the bacteria on the skin, but one major focus is in the gut because there are most of the bacteria we live with. There are actually trillions of bacteria, not only bacteria, also viruses and fungi that just um, are friendly passengers and um, they do a lot of good for us. But we think over the last few decades with the different diets and the lifestyle in the modern life, uh, we, um, we really had major changes in those bacteria and in the composition of them. And um, that may contribute to autoimmune diseases. And one very specific question we're trying to answer, and that was part of what was funded, is um, that perhaps some of these bacteria can have um, um, structures or molecules that are very similar to our cell structures. And again, getting back to the fundamental problem of um, autoimmunity, when the body um, sees an antigen and reacts to it, it should not be against the own body. But if this antigen is very similar to, for instance, a bacterium, which in many ways is harmless, but we of course want to keep it in check in the gut and have a natural immune response to it, uh, then it could be a problem if someone is genetically predisposed to react not only to this bacterium but also to uh, the self molecules. Uh, we study heavily the antigens that are targeted in a certain um, sort of subset of lupus. There's uh, lupus patients that um, develop um, clotting problems. Uh, they can get strokes, heart attacks, um, women can get miscarriages, and this is all due to um, the problem of the immune system reacting against molecules that are important in the clotting cascade. And we think that one of those clotting proteins um, are um, present, not the whole protein, but certain structures are present in, in certain bacteria. And we're trying to make the link there. And so, 
as far as um, the organisms that you know live in inside of us, does does diet play a role in kind of reducing the risk factor of contracting autoimmune diseases? Do you think? Uh, we very much think so, and in fact, we have an animal study ongoing where we uh, indeed test uh, different diets and how they can modulate uh, autoimmune diseases. And in fact, early data suggests that lupus can be mitigated in a model, in an animal model, at least by changing your diet. Thanks for watching part one of our interview with Dr. Martin Kriegel. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all the latest Arthritis Now episodes. Log on to curearthritis.org to find out all the latest info on the foundation and share this video on Facebook and Twitter to help spread arthritis awareness.